Here's a clip to show you how I make a dragonfly into a pendant. This is a dragonfly that I found and it's in a bad position. The wings were like crooked and the tail is broken. So I'm pinning it to a spread board to straighten it out. I'm using a paintbrush to gently move things into position and also pinning it down with some wax paper and some sewing pins. So this will stay on the spread board for a couple of weeks until it's ready to uh, be removed and then I can move to the next step. Okay, now it's ready. So I'm going to go ahead and take the bottom off because it was broken anyways. And then I found a crystal that was the right size and shape that I wanted. So I'm going to secure that in there with some UV resin. You can see it slips right in there. I'm using the UV resin and it'll take a couple seconds to cure with the UV lamp. It's curing. And then after that, I'll seal the body with some nail polish. Okay, so now I'm using clear nail polish to seal the body. I'm going to let this dry. And then uh, once it's dry, I can add the stone. So I'm adding some stones to the top with some super glue. After dropping it, I had to replace the wings with some super glue and baking soda. I'm adding some conductive paint. The conductive paint is uh, graphite powder and Mod Podge and water. I use a soft paintbrush to paint really thin layers onto the wings, being careful not to put too much pressure on them. And I let the coats dry in between before I apply the next coat. So I've reversed the video so you can see the process backwards. And so I have some more time to talk to you. Um, doing insects like this, it takes a lot of patience and a lot of um, time. And the most important step is to really just be gentle and, uh, and try not to rush the process because drawing in between coats of paint and um, you know just making sure that everything stays intact um, before you put it in the bath is really important. And you know, as you saw in the video, I actually dropped this dragonfly after I had put the gemstones on it. So I had to repair it with two spare wings with some baking soda and uh, super glue. But it's possible, I mean, you can take something that looks broken and, and totally use it in your work. And that's what I like to do. I hope you enjoyed the video and you got some useful information out of it. This is part one and I will post part two once I get to that step. And that way you can see um, the dragonfly after it's been plated in the bath. So uh, if you found it useful, have a question, give me a like, leave me a comment, follow me if you haven't already, and I appreciate it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks.